Stacey Abrams has been busy since her run for governor in Georgia, increasing civic engagement, social justice and voting rights activism all across the country. Tomorrow, her national speaking tour comes to Detroit and our own Rhonda Walker will moderate the conversation. She got a chance to talk with her ahead of the event. So let's talk about civic engagement. We might talk about politics, but for most people, it's not about politics, it's about their lives. And the most effective way to engage someone is to connect the dots. So one of the big areas that you are advocating is about voting rights and voting laws. And we're watching that come into the spotlight in many states, including ours. The fight about voting rights is not partisan. We are not trying to make certain we have voting rights for Democrats at the expense of Republicans or voting rights for Republicans at the expense of Democrats or independents. The mission is to ensure that every eligible American can be heard. Too often our politics elide the, the real consequences. I care about voting rights, not simply for the act of casting a ballot, but because it's my right and my opportunity to have a voice in what happens next, to have real conversations where we don't sugarcoat what's happening, but we also don't pretend that solutions can happen overnight. Talk to me about what you hope to accomplish and why Detroit is on your tour. Detroit is one of those cities that sits at the intersection of so many of the important discussions we're having in our nation. Do you have any Detroit connections? I hire a lot of folks from Detroit. My chief of staff was from Detroit when I first began as minority leader. One of my chief lieutenants during my campaign was from Detroit. So I have very strong Detroit ties. What I really want is I want a conversation. I think the best civic engagement comes from actually spending time understanding what questions are out there, what concerns are raging, but also hearing about what people want and dream about. You were the first black female to ever be on a major party gubernatorial ticket. Um, being first. Like most labels, it's not something you seek. It just happens to come with the work. But I was so privileged to have the opportunity to be. That doesn't mean you didn't make progress. Abrams will be taking audience questions as well at this event. Conversations with Stacey Abrams is tomorrow at 730 at the Detroit Opera House. Tickets are still available. You can get them through Ticketmaster. You must be fully vaccinated for at least 10 days or have a negative COVID test taken within the 72 hours leading up to the event. And you have to bring proper documentation with your ticket.